we just completed a fitting with Buddy the Elf, so this was our sort of trial run with the, the costume. My job was to find our own visual vocabulary to help Sebastian tell the story of Buddy the Elf. I was commenting that it makes me feel obviously very much like an elf, clearly. And yet it's bizarrely natural, which is scary on many levels. <laughs> When you get to New York, your eye will be, you're, you're going to meet a whole lot of people on the street and they're going to be in very dark half tones so that Buddy really stands out and he really looks like a fish out of water. The coat fabric, uh, it, we actually had it imported from England. We actually uh, contacted the lady that made the elf costumes for the film because those were, the wool was custom dyed before it was spun and then woven into cloth. In the film it has this really exquisite embroidery that it runs around the, around the costume. It's like a little gilt, really finely, beautifully done. So we've done these more like a flannel board story, felt looking, applicate snowflakes, and that became a metaphor for all of the North Pole. I used to design the Christmas show at Radio City Music Hall, so I'm very familiar with the Claus family. On Santa himself, we, we literally googled and researched a uh, hundred different Santas and showed them all to Casey Nicolau to see, do you like the Norman Rockwell Santa? Do you like the sort of 1950s Hallmark Santa? And it's interesting, there's so many Santas in the piece because you have all of the disgruntled Santas on Christmas Eve in the Chinese restaurant and they're meant to look like those guys ringing a bell on the street corner. And then we have the Mesa Santa who's quite grand, you know, he's sort of, he's spectacular. So of course our, the real Santa has to be the most spectacular of all. It's kind of a moment, you know, when you get to see the thing that you've drawn and sort of imagined and then come to life, of course, it's really like one of the perks of doing this for a living.